On his 19th birthday, Jesse Strang wrote, I am no more than a common farmer. Tis too bad. I ought to have been a Brigadier General before this time if I am to rival Caesar or Napoleon, which I am sworn to. My name is uh, Pat Ostermeyer, and uh, one of my uh, ancestors, James Jesse Strang, was a lawyer and a teacher, a politician, and even a self-appointed saint and self-appointed king. In 1844, Jesse Strang joined Joseph Smith, who was the leader of the Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Mormon Temple in Illinois. Jesse was baptized by Joseph Smith. Later that year, Joseph Smith and his brother Hiram were both murdered. Jesse declared that he was the leader of the Mormon Church. He had a letter apparently saying that this was so, but that letter was declared a fake. Jesse was excommunicated and led his followers away from Illinois. He settled with them on Beaver Island, located in Lake Michigan, and declared himself both a saint and the king of his Strangite followers and of Beaver Island. Jesse's followers, known as the Strangites, settled on Beaver Island, but they were not very popular with the people already on the island. They followed the teachings of the Mormon Church including polygamy. Jesse married five women and had 14 children. Twelve years after they arrived in 1856, uh, Jesse Strang placed an edict for the women to uh, wear bloomers. The bloomers that Strang wanted the women to wear were more like overalls. This did not go over well. When Ruth Ann Bedford refused, her husband, Thomas, was given 39 lashes. He and Alexander Wentworth plotted their leader's death. They ambushed Strang and fired on him. Strang's harshly autocratic rule finally led to his undoing. He survived the shooting but uh, later succumbed to infection. King Jesse is buried at the Old Vorey Cemetery in Burlington, Wisconsin. Strang's descendant was my great-grandmother, Charlotte Strang in Prince Edward Island. Most of my family uh, on Prince Edward Island uh, were farmers. They settled in, in the area of Bedeck and Wolf's Cove. There are many gravestones containing Strang ancestors in the Cape Wolf United Church Cemetery. I am proud to have such diverse people as a part of my heritage and there are many more in the Strang family and others. After Jesse's death, no one came forward to take over his position of leader. Uh, and to this day, no one has ever come forward to take over as leader of that other group of Strangites. <laughs>